Yeah, post it soon. Well, I'm Ranger Cookie, and this is Mike Majuri. Mike Long, if I heard. Oh yeah, Mike Long. Yeah. Are we out here again to uh, complete our trail? We did this uh, last summer. We went so far, but it was so hot and muggy, we just stopped. But we are going to complete this trail today, or try to. But I want to show you what we found on the way up. So come on with us and uh, see what it's all about. Hey, Sean. Mm, it's Kooky. What house? Yeah. Well, I found it. Come on. Alright, all right, if you remember, we was looking for an old house that was out here. And then I came back here to look for it and I found it. So here's the uh, the aftermath. Now is this trail we wanted to make a trail to find that old house and a trail to the uh, camp. It gets there, trust me, it gets there. This is where Mike got lost. I asked him which way is his house, and he said that way. I said wrong, and I said he goes that way. No, you're wrong. It was right out there. See, that's another thing about coming out here during the wet seasons to find out where all the water is. Come down, son. Look at look what we're looking at. We are here to find, you know, just to show you. This is the wet season. Pan around, there you go. And pan back. That is the wet season. So we have to make a trail that we can survive walking through while getting wet. Come on. We're going to do a little work on this trail, then we'll come back and we're going to get a bag and we're going to go to the hobo because Mike wanted to see it. He saw some stuff I've been working out there and I'm like, damn, i like to go out there and look at it. I'm like, come on. But first, we'll see if we can cut this line a little deeper to find my other trail to get to my camp, which would be a better trail. <clears throat> Come along with us. Let's see how wet this trail is. The other trail I have to the hobo is very wet. See how much cleaning I got, uh, Mike? Yeah. Stay close, you're gonna get lost, like you usually do. It's just something with Mike. He sees something, he just stops and mirrors lies. Like, ooh. Yeah. And look what I found out here. Found the old house that said it was out here, and there it is. This is the old house. It looks like it's back in the uh, 70s or 60s. Uh, the reason I could tell is the can right there. Those can, those pool tops were back in the 70s. This could be a shed. For a trailer that probably was here or old house. There's some more parts behind here. Let's go take a look. Yeah, don't cut none of this. This is gonna be the hidden trail. Let's go underneath those. Now back here I found a an old shed. It looks like it just collapsed on itself. So I mean and look at that. Look at that. Like I always say, always buy big oak trees. Look at them big oak trees. Old houses always buy old oak trees. 
I can't, it is non fail so far. I always find these old houses by these oak trees. <laughs> This is another little hidden trail. You can't even tell which way to go until you walk over some and you see the trail. This is called a tunnel trail. I mean, you can see a tunnel trail. You gotta cut because it's all brush and you gotta cut it. There's no way around it. Somebody's gonna find a tunnel trail. When I get to an open area, I'm like, where, where, where's the trail at? And what I usually do when I go out and make trails like this, and I might find a can, and I'll hang that can up in that tree. So I have, a, I have it up there. It's like a little trail marker. But most people don't even realize it's a trail marker. They might think, oh, that's target practice. There's another old white bottle I put up for a trail marker. Yep. And it closed up again. And I found another trail marker I put up. I'm going to show you what it, what it is. Look, my other trail marker. I find these in the woods all the time. So I hang these up as trail markers. Now, if I'm not mistaken, I walk through this. This is an open area. So I hit the trail. Once you look at what you're looking for. Then I start it over. Again. Safety goggles are good to have on. Uh, it's called hidden trail, buddy. <laughs> this is where I end up at, right here. This is what I where I stop at. The reason why I stop. Look how thick that is. That's thick as hell. So I have choices. I can go that way, which I did. I went that way, and I found. The house on the road and try to go that way but it's really thick like you see so we got choices we can clear out the path or make a new trail <laughs> that's wrong Mike it's all right you'll be all right you'll live yeah. <clears throat> Huh? I wish I would have pants now. Oh yeah. I always wear pants. Was expecting thick bush. Thick bush. Alright, believe it or not, right across this thick area is the other trail. What I do when I'm making a trail from one trail to another, I'll look for points. See this old tree right here? I tag that on the other side. I know the other side is my trail. So we had to get across or get to the other side. So let's do a scout before we uh, start cut cutting. Because you don't want to do a lot of cutting. You find out there's another easy way to go around this stuff. It looks like that's the easy way. So what I'm going to do is... Say goodbye to you for a few minutes, and we're going to cut this lawn. Uh, Mike's going to have his camera on. He's going to watch me cut and blaze through this thicket real quick, because I can see like a little trail here. So Mike's going to watch and guard my goat belongings until we see you again. All right, I'm Ranger Kiki. Yours stays on. We left off right here, and I want to show you the, the progress. It's been almost an hour. We didn't get far, but I want to show you how far we got from where we, where you last saw me. Mm 
It might get lost again. <laughs> like usual. You know the trail's over this way. Yeah, I know that. Okay. Are you making a hidden trail or something? Yeah. All right, now I'm gonna show you. Show you how far I got. It's been about an hour. It's really a thick, you see how thick it is. It's pretty thick to go through this trail. There's a fence right here. And this is it. Whoop. I think I went a little further. Nope, this is a little hidden trail here. Yeah. It's this way. And I went this way. And I turn this way. This is about farthest I got. And I stop right here. Because I want to find out which way is the best. So I do a little scout, come back, uh, go that way, do a little scout, come back, and say, okay, which way is better? This way, then I'll take this way. If not, I'll go the other way. So I do a little scouting, I'll go back and forth. Go for about 20 feet, 100 feet, 50 feet, depends on how clear it is. Then I come back. So now I'm going back to where Mike is. I hope I get this trail done before winter it ends because it's going to be hot and muggy. That's why we're kind of closing down right now because it's getting really hot and muggy to be. Out here, it's kind of weird. It got a little hot out here. So we're gonna call it in, and we're gonna go to Hobo and check it out. So. I hope you enjoy me and Mike's adventures part three or four or whatever number it is. And I'll see you uh, in the next video. Because uh, mama loves you. And uh, I'll let you go through this trail. It's a pretty, it's kind of thicket trail. And there's my, there's Mike Madury. Kind of getting uh, hot, huh? Mm -hmm. So we are heading in, and we'll go to the hobo. We're gonna take these vests off. We can walk in the woods without no vest, I guess. Then, then I might get thirsty. I thirst, oh, All right, let's see if Mike can get out of here. Don't forget your hat. Let's see if Mike can get out of here. I'm gonna hurry up and run ahead. He's gonna get lost. He's gonna be yelling for me. Help, vice boy. So we're gonna see what happens. Let's see how long it takes him to get out the woods. This should be easy. Little turn here. And I'm lost. Nope. <laughs> yeah. He's gonna get lost right here. This is the area he's gonna get lost at. This is a hidden trail. It's open. But if he can find the skull, he knows where he's at.
All right, I'm gonna go to that old house and wait for him. Let's see how long it took him. Takes him. See, he got lost. He's yelling for me. <laughs> you got lost, Mike! I'm gonna hide and see if he can find his way back. Looks like he's doing a good job today. I mean, I see him, he's good. He is good, let's see. Mm -mm, I'm gonna be quiet. Going the right way, Mike! You're in the open trail, Mike. You're gonna get lost. Come on, Mike, you just helped me make that trail. He's so lost. But he's doing good. Looks like it. Yep, he's lost right there by the hidden trail. Let's go find out. Come on. Let's find out. Poor Mike. He's always getting lost in the woods. You got lost by the hidden trail, Mike? Yeah, you you got lost in the hidden trail part. <laughs> Going the wrong way, sir. That's right. I can hear you and tell you you're going the wrong way. All right, make a left, your true left. Go left, your true left. No, left. Okay, now point your left. Now go that way. I'll see him. I can see, I can. Yes, that's your left. All right, let me let me get you so you can get out quicker. There you go. You got it now. Now you got it. I love Mike. Mike, I love Mike. He's a good guy. He'll get lost in five seconds. Come on, Mike. Show me out this damn place. It's all right. It's it's there for love. It's there for love. <laughs> yeah. okay. Alright, show me how you get out of here, Mike. Should be easy. It's a tunnel trail. Except for a couple of open spaces. Yeah. I thought we could go in, uh... yeah, we're going to go back to the car and get something and go to the normal trail. Oh. Come on. I wanted to show you the... Uh... Well, I veered it off. You show me next time. It's hot. <laughs> yeah. Well, you saw me, uh, you recording. Yeah, you record, huh? You can tell me. You can talk. Tell the people how, how, uh, how you got lost. Oh, shut up. Come on. I made a trail that veered off. 
and you reeled <laughs> off. To do no, it. no, 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 no. No, that's that's why I little veered off. Yeah, you did. Splits like this. Dude. If yeah. you get caught in that, oh boy, you, you screwed. <laughs> so you learn from the master. Uh, All right, come on, show me how to get out of here. Oh boy. I love following Mike. Mike gets lost all the time. All right, here, here's a question. Which way is your house? <laughs> oh, no. Okay, go ahead. Stop. Just point to where your house is. Come on, Mike. I knew you could do it. Which way is your house? Wrong. Wrong. <laughs> That's wrong. Getting hotter. You're getting hotter. There you go. A little further. A little bit more. There you go. That's where your house is. Remember, folks, sense of direction is always a must. A bag of common sense and memory to go with all of that. We have to remember about the common sense. Remember your such a direction. Remember points and views. See, he's lost. Is it that way? Is it the front or over here? Which way, Mike? A nice hidden trail. Mm -hmm. I see houses over there, but I know that's not it. Ah, see, you're learning. You know you didn't come from a house, so you had to... A big open. See how open it is? Now, this is called a tunnel trail. This is the wrong way. Okay, he's going mad. He lost. He's dying thirsting. <laughs> dying of thirst. Oh, oh, oh. All right. So the new technology is to bark when you get lost. It just came from this way. <laughs> Makes me wonder. I'll try to get the dog riled up. Oh, so he's trying to make dogs that the next door to his house riled up the bark. Okay, I thought she was going crazy of starvation and thirst. All right, I just told this fella which way is his house is, and he's going the opposite direction. So it makes me wonder what's wrong with this sense of direction. You need a compass. You need a compass. I got one. All right, so. <laughs> that's a deer, sir. And that's our marker. That's a trail marker for us. That's a pretty, pretty big deer. So, sir, which way to go? Okay. I think this trail is more confusing than the other trail. At least he only got lost in one spot. It's called the Beauty Triangle. He walked in circles for days in that thing. You should have seen it. It was funny. Go look up uh, Mike and uh, Ranger Cookies Adventures Part 1, I think. Or just look up Adventures on my channel and you'll see where he got lost. He also has a channel. It's called Long... Whoop, long Mike Long... What, what is it? Mike Lone Wolf. Go check him out.
I'm not going to die of thirst. I got a thermos. Look at this, folks. A Stanley. It keeps cold for one hour. Heavy duty. Double. Is it double? Whoa, I didn't know it was double. And it's a single. Oh, it's a single wall. How the hell? Heavy duty plus double insulation. Single wall. Lift it. Take it. Serve it. Wee! I got this from the uh, dirty, Dirt Cheap. Uh, it's a Stanley, and this sucker keeps cold for a long time. Y'all need to go check out Dirt Cheap. Dirt Cheap, I thought it was a place where it sells food, but it sells products that's been broken or used, or they just can't sell it in the market, so they put it in Dirt Cheap. Dirt Cheap carries Walmart products, sometimes Sam's, Target and a cabinet. And all these years, I thought that was a damn grocery store. But they sell good camping gear, good uh, used uh, appliance. Go check them out. Imagine me and Mike on that venture. Two family members. Wins a half a million dollars if it could survive the longest. Would me and Mike survive or I would kick him off the island? <laughs> so, Mike, we are lost. Why are we lost? Not quite. All right, oh, hang on. I'm going to turn this one off real quick. All right, I'm Ranger Kick. All right, we back. We still sit in the same spot. It's been 20 minutes. Figure speech. It's only been like five. Imagine me and Mike going out on the family. Uh, what are you doing? Oh, a little spider. Yeah, yeah, get it. I was showing you. Yeah, it's a little red spider. I got bitten the other day. I got a big green spot on my back neck. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it feels good too. Mm -hmm. Man, it don't feel good. Mm -hmm. All right, come on, Mike. Where where to go? Take us out of here. <laughs> I'm gonna starve. Well, yeah, I got food. He's the one that's gonna starve unless he has food in his pouch. Mmm, look at the lamb chops down there. I'm gonna see. I got a machete. I could use a machete. Mm -mm, lamb chops. Ah, I love getting lost in the woods with Mike. It's like going to New Orleans and driving down the streets. Would you find your way out? So if you've never been down to New Orleans, oh goodness. I guess this is like the Bunuel Triangle. He came back to this spot twice. Okay. Give me a little hint. Uh, All right. Remember which way I told you which way is your house? Which way is your house? And can you remember that? Did you lost your sense of direction from where you started when I asked you which way is your house? House is... Wrong. 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 Getting warmer. There you go. It's kind of that way, but a little bit further over. So if your house is that way, and we came from your house... All right, here's a question. Do you know where you're at? Can you tell me what's on your left and what's on your right? And what's behind you and what's in front of you? All right, right now, what's in front of us or in front of you? Mm. Well, I know the house is over here. What house? The house on that, that road over oh, there. Oh, the road. Okay. You got that right. All right. Now, what's in front of us? It's another road. No, in front of us. Should be our camp. The camp is in front of us, so we're kind of like over that way. You kidding? Mm -hmm. How close we are to the camp? Pretty far. Oh. We still got to make it to the trail, and it's pretty deep. I thought it'd be shorter, but it's pretty deep. All right, so what's on the on that side? So what's over here? That way's the camp. That way is the trail. So if you get no, lost the in the road, mm -hmm. so what's behind you? 
That's the way we came, correct? Yeah. So which way you should go? That, uh, yeah, so... Go. Which way? No, wait, this way. No. That, no. Okay, remember we came from the road. Which way is the road? To your knowledge, which way is the road? Man, it's throwing me off when you're in these woods. The road? The road we came off of, we walked across the ditch and we came to into the woods. Wrong. Wrong? That's the... You just, wait, wait, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, are you confusing yourself? All right, stop. Which way is in front of us? It's our camp. So going that way, we go deeper into the woods, correct? Oh, wait a minute. This is yes or no? If we go that way, we go deeper into the woods. Yeah, that's deep woods. Okay, so on your left, it'd be what? The road? The road and the trail to our camp. So if we go that way, we will get, we'll find a way out. What happens if we go that way? <laughs> Towards your, your right. Yes. What's your right? The, the house and stuff. Yeah, the road. And the road. Okay, so if you get lost, you can go that way. So what's behind us? Is the way we came in. Yeah, the way we come in. So which way you should go right now to get back out? The quickest, easiest way. Should we go that way and go through the woods? Or should we go that way go through the woods? Or make a new trail to our camp and find the other trail? Or go back to the trail we created? Go back to the trail we created. So... Damn. <laughs> Man, this sucks. It's that way, Mike. This way. Learning your senses, your, your um, sense of direction is very important. This man here was confused. He got confused like 10 times. Well, I had to say this. Me and him are slow learners. Lear, uh, learners. He's a little slower than me, but he learns. He knows a lot. Don't let him fool you. Don't let him or me fool you. We're smart. Sometimes our sense of direction, for him, is a little worse than mine. Frickin' spider web. Or he'll get it off, because he bit me. Turn around and see your neck. Okay, nope, you're good. All right. Sure do. Oh, spider, spider. <laughs> no worry, I got bitten. Big green spot on my neck. Damn. <laughs> That little, that little. Shit, I'm lost. Okay, right there is the trail. See what I'm doing? I'm looking for trail markers. Look, there's a trail marker. I put this on here for a reason. The little mommy, this is the trail. There's a bottle. There's another trail marker I have up. Right there. And there's a can up there high. So you can see it from a distance. That's why I put those up there. So you can see from a distance. If I was over there, I'm like looking for my trail. Where's my trail? Look, there it is. This is where you got lost last time. You got turned around. See, there's the house. See, over there. So that's the road. So if you want to get emergency of it evacuation, you run to that property and get out. But we're not in an emergency situation. We in the trail. So now he has to learn what's where is his other sense of direction. This is where you got lost last time. 
Is the trail that bad off that it's hidden that good that you can't find it, Mike? I got so used to the where, where I was at, you know. So basically, I, I think out. what's going on in his head is he's getting flashbacks of other places. And he keeps that in his head and he's looking for it. So he turns around and looks for it. But he has to have a, a straight memory. So we might say you have a memory loss there, my friend. Just don't go in the woods by yourself. <laughs> yeah, did that done that to me. He did that. Me and Grumpy was out camping. And um, he went to go find us, but he couldn't find us. Lucky he's still alive and still here. <laughs> so, where are you going, Mike? What are we doing? Uh-huh. Again. See, that's why I think what's going on. He walks through the woods and he has a, like a flashback of something else. And he just stops like he's doing now. Because I walk ahead and I turn around. He's like, where, where the hell is he? He's 20, almost 100 feet away, away from me. I'm like, Mike, what are you doing? So now I'm guessing what's going on in my friend's brain here. Kind of remind me where I got lost. I mean, it was like thick, like like this thick, thick, thick. I mean, I'm you got a flashlight on you? Yeah. Well, we got trail tax out there now. Oh yeah, yeah. I didn't think about it at the time, but, but afterwards, like I thought about it, like shit. So what's going on? What what's uh, let's see. why you can't go forward? You see a trail here, but you don't see a trail here. I think it's a hidden trail. Yeah, I would have paid attention to this little park. And I don't think this is the right way to look at it. Mm -mm. I don't think it is. Alright, I gotta let you go. Go for it. Go for it? Yep, go for it. I gotta help him. He'd be here for about 20 minutes figuring out. Do you see the trail now? What do you look for? Now, wow. ah, okay. That's what I was looking for, the big oak. Ah, so you have to look up next time. You know what else that you look for? He's cut limbs. You yeah. have to look for cl cut limbs. I was looking for, for that too, but... All right, he's lost that quick. Uh... <sighs> squirrel or a bird oh I hear laughing too laughing at you Mike oh it's a dog whoa 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 Are you going to go forward somewhere or somewhere? Are you looking for cuttings or does it look like the part of the trail? Look around, look for cuttings. That's another healthy hand. A lot of fat wood out here. Oh, that's fat wood. While I'm waiting for Mike to decide which way he's going to go, I'm going to look for fat wood. Oh, oh, he's moving. What you looking for? I see you looking down. See, look, there's a cutting. Maybe that's what he's looking at.
Now we walk through this area earlier. This should be a good memory. I'm going the right direction. Yep. I wasn't sure at, at first. Yeah, the brick. There we are. We're almost back to the road. This is the old house or old shed we found. And this is an old house or some type of shed. That's pretty old. Yeah, that's a beautiful oak tree. Oh, that's a huge. Take a look at it with the cam. Yeah, don't fall. <laughs> Now we got a little hidden area here, so we have to make sure we don't break nothing. So we're gonna go through this area. I don't know if this is the house, because this is pretty small, but houses back in the day were small. Let's see what kind of evidence I can find to see what kind of house this was. Yeah, it looks like a shed because I think I found the uh, lawnmower part. All right, this should be easy, Mike. Let's see if we can get out of get get us out of here. Okay. Break it out your way. Say so you the master of this trail. <laughs> you got a little stuck there, huh? I need to clean this part out. That's gonna be too thick for everybody. Woo! I have to cut that out. Yeah. We'll make her go around it. The dog can hear me now? When we get a little closer, probably. The dog got good ears. Oh, yeah. <laughs> there you go. Got him going. Oh, look at him. He says, I'm out of here. And watch you get lost on this road. That'd be funny. Yeah, we see. I'm kind of cool if it was like this all the way out there. Yeah, at least part, part of the way, at least. Yeah, big old. Yep. All right, well, we're almost to the end of our adventures. So we're gonna say, uh, we're gonna come back out here if it gets a little colder and finish that trail, cause it's blazing hot now. And we got, what, two more weeks for spring forward. So you know what that means. It's gonna be summer soon. We're gonna cook our brains out here when we go camping instead of Feeling good. What's wrong with your hat? It's there. Yeah, I'll just take it. All right, Mike got us out of here. It took him what, thirty and almost an hour or so. Uh, tell me how long he took him. <laughs> And there's the road, and there's our freedom of the woods. Alright, I'll arrange a cookie. I'll see you next video. See you next time.